Hey dolls, today we are learning about the perfect red lip. There is nothing more empowering or classic that can just make a woman feel amazing about herself than a beautiful red lip. But even though it's one of the easiest things to do, it's also one of the hardest things to perfect. Um, because if you get a red lipstick in the wrong hands, oh baby, it can be a hot mess. So I'm here today to really help make sure that all of your red lips are red carpet ready. So let's get started um, with our very first step. Alright gang, so now let's get started on our perfect red lips. Now as you can see in the form, the first step, of course, um, in Anything you do, whether it's makeup or hairs, you have to really get prepped. Um, so for this, we are going to start off exfoliating our lips because there's nothing sexier than just beautiful red lips with skin hanging off. No. So what we're going to do is um, some little tools that I've played with over the years is I love a old toothbrush. And this I'm very high tech because I'm using my Spin Brush Pro to do the work for me. So what I did was I just got a toothbrush. Uh, dampened it in a little bit of water. You don't want it too wet because um, it'll ruin the next part of it. So once you um, dip it in water, just really dab off the excess. So then what you're going to do with your damp fingertip, you're going to take just regular um, table sugar. And what we will do is I will just dab my finger into the table sugar and press it onto my lips. And then exfoliate with your spin brush. So give it a good 10 seconds. <clears throat> Tasty. And then wipe off the excess. And you can feel that your lips are really just smooth and there's no dry skin. Um, but after you have exfoliated, you really need to make sure and condition your lips. So the next thing I want you to do is condition your lips with a lip balm. My favorite lip balm right now is from Lush. It's called Honey Trap. And the reason why I like it, it's a good lip balm, but it's um, not as slippery as some balms are or chapsticks. So just put a little bit of that onto your lips. Just to really prep it. Ooh, I feel some of that sugar. There you go. Mmm. Okay, so just really rub that into your lips. If you feel like you have a little bit of excess, um, just take a um, clean tissue and kind of blot off any of the excess so your lips are smooth and conditioned. Now the next step that we're going to do is um, we're going to prime the area around the lips. Um, and this is best done with just doing taking a concealer brush and concealer and just lining any area because you don't want any imperfections um, really showing up there. And right now I've got a little bit of acne boo-boos going on, so we're just going to cover those up so no one be, be able to tell. All right, so I'm going to flip view so you guys can see a close-up of exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so you're going to get me up close and personal now because now is the time where we are going to line um, and perfect the area around your lips. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go in with a concealer. So I'm just going to get real close. Ooh, yeah, get to know Catherine with all these zits going around on her face. All right, so you just really want to use a concealer brush and just make sure everything there is really, really smooth. If you want, um, you can also just lightly go over your lips with a concealer. Because this is going to help the lipstick stay on a little bit longer. Alright, so the next step is to take a um, <clears throat> reversible lip liner. Um, the one that I'm using is from Prescriptives. Unfortunately, they are no longer with us. I was very sad when I found that out. Um, but as you can see, this is just like a nude pencil. You can see it just blends right into the back of my hand. 
Um, you can get one now. A Cargo has a reverse lip liner. Um, Benefit Cosmetics actually has a clear um, liner, which is great. And then MAC actually just came out um, with a nude lip liner as well. So what we're going to do is we are just going to line the area around your lips um, to make sure that that lipstick goes nowhere. So let's go ahead um, and do that together. So I'm just going to line that. And you can see how it just gives you that perfect line. And I was a lifeguard when I was younger, and so I have a lot of freckles right around my lips from being outside. So this just really gives you a very distinct lip line. And then once you have the um, red lip liner on, it'll just make sure that it really stays in place. All right, so next we are going to go in with our lip liner. The one that I am using is Brick from MAC. It's amazing. So let's just go ahead and line your lips. Now when you're lining, it's always important to start in that little Cupid's bow area. Because that's what's really going to give you your shape. Now it's kind of hard to talk and apply lips. So we're just going to do that. And I'm not really getting too perfect with it right now because we're actually going to go back and reline in a little bit. Let's just get that down. All right. Let's just make sure. Here you go. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is go in with our lipstick. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to choose your perfect shade of red. Um, read the forum whether you're warm or neutral or cool or whatever you choose to do. A red is red. I see there is no rules in makeup, only guidelines. So you really just get to pick whatever you love the most. Um, so I actually have recently fallen madly in love with Max Russian Red. It's just a good true red that goes with just about everything. Um, so when you are applying a red, you can always go in right with the lipstick um, or for a little bit more control I always recommend using a lip brush um, especially with reds it's really easy to mess up um, and it's really hard to correct it so I'm just gonna apply it with my lip brush to kind of make it a little bit easier for myself all right so I'm just gonna go in same thing starting with that Cupid's bow area and really apply that color. There you go. Go in with a little bit more of the color and you can kind of see a better idea of the color of the red that I'm using. All right. Now you're just gonna go onto the bottom. All right. And like I said, don't get too carried away with it um, because we're actually going to be going back um, and correcting it in just a moment. So here is the big top secret. Um, I, I actually train cosmetics, and so I'm in trainings for eight hours a day. Um, and all of my girls always ask me, oh my God, Kitty, how do you get your lips to last? I mean, through lunch, through breaks, through coffee. Um, and here is my big secret. So after I have done one layer of my lips, I'm actually going to lose my mind. No. <laughs> I'm actually going to take a one-ply tissue of um, toilet paper, tissue paper, whatever. So I'm taking one ply, as you can see, and I'm going to cover my lips. Just like that. Alright, so I'll be covering like, like that. 
Um, my secret weapon is um, either a translucent powder or Benefit Cosmetics actually has like my savior product and it's called Powderflage. It's actually something that sets concealer, um, but I find that it works amazing to set lips as well. So it's just um, almost like Mineral Veil from uh, Bare Minerals. Um, so you can see it's just a little powder. So I'm just going to take um, a little bit of that with just a fluffy brush. Just kind of have just a little bit on the brush. Take that one ply of tissue and go over my lips like that. And apply a generous amount of that um, to set your lips. This is like round one. So then you're going to go back and repeat. You're going to line, then you're going to add a little bit more lipstick. So let's go and do that. For this one, you really do want to make sure you are next to perfect. Alright, then you're going to just take that lip one more time. For time's sake, I'm just going to right on top. And voila, you have a perfect red lip that's going to last you from your first sip of coffee until your last cocktail at happy hour. So I hope you all feel amazing about your gorgeous red lips. So I hope you feel like you're empowered to take on the world because that's amazing what the power of a red lipstick can do for you. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, make sure not to break any necks from all those heads that are going to turn from the gorgeousness of you. See you guys inside the dollhouse on the next round. Bye. I got some troubles.